Well, I, I did all kinds of stuff. Okay, look here. Look what I did. See, I painted the back of the firewall there, the, the radiator support. I painted it black so it's not all overspray anymore. And even check it out. I got rid of the actual hood latch. So when I open the hood, right, all that mess is gone. See, look, I, I did all kinds of stuff. See that? No, not that. I'm talking about this. Oh. Oh yeah, that, uh, yeah, that, that happened. So, uh, well, I, I got a new coil. See, I, I got the yellow coil, the super stock coil there, you know? Yeah, it, it, it matches the rest, you know, the plug wires and everything, right? Uh, you know, that one kind of, it, uh, well, the insides aren't in it anymore. See, I, they, they decided to pop out and spray oil. It, it really cleaned up this side of the hood, though. See that? Look at that. I wish it would have got over here, really. But Yeah, no, my coil exploded. And uh, it was a close call, let me tell you. So the other night, when me and the Missums finished wiring up our nitrous, we, uh, well... We finished wiring up the nitrous. I accidentally left my glasses in the car, see. And, uh, well, when we went back inside, I realized I forgot my glasses. And, uh, well, you know, I, I really didn't want to go back out here and get them because at that point I just sat down. You know how it is after you just got done, you know, doing something really strenuous and, you know, time-consuming and... You're sweating to death because it's hotter than heck outside. You, after sitting down, you just don't want to go do anything else, right? Okay, so, well, I, I avoided coming out here for the longest time trying to edit up my video. Well, you know, the video that just came out the other day on the nitrous. Well, eventually I realized I need my glasses because, believe it or not, I get a headache if I'm trying to do stuff without my glasses, like editing video, looking at computer screens, stuff like that without my glasses, right? So, well, not computer, phone screens, because I don't have a computer. Any hoozle. I came back out here, and uh, when I opened up the garage door, I smelled something, and it's like, what in the heck is that? Well, then I opened up the, you know, well, the hood was already open. I left it open. I turned on the lights, and I see smoke billowing out of this car. I'm like, holy shit. So I quickly come over here and I grab the negative. Because, you know, key tip, leave these loose enough to where you can just jank them off, yank them off there, right? Yank that off there. I yanked the positive off there because it was still smoldering. It was smoldering for a good, you know, long time after I disconnected the battery. It had just popped out like, like you know, I, I don't even know how to explain it. Uh, didn't get any of it on camera though because I was a little preoccupied with uh, making sure the car didn't burn down. So I grabbed the innards and I, you know, got rid of them. I, I had to cut all these wires going to the coil, grab the innards, and, uh, well, I, I got rid of it as soon as possible. Then I did some diagnosing the morning after. So after installing the new coil and, you know, redoing all of my ends, which really, really, they needed to be done. <laughs> this, this tack wire, if you ever looked at it before, if you go back and look, it was holding on literally by a thread. But it still worked, so, you know. That did not cause this whole catastrophe to happen, by the way, if you're, you know, thinking that. But no, I put the new wires, I got it all redone, right? And I came over here, I put my tester light on, the negative, put the positive back on, and I wanted to see if there was a draw on the battery, like so. Yep, just like that. There's no draw now because we fixed the problem. But there was a draw on the battery. So I'm thinking to myself, huh, well, what in the world did I do that would cause that? So naturally, you know... My nitrous solenoid positive wires here. So I decided to 
take them off one by one put you know the nut back on and recheck after each one to find out which one of these what because that's the only thing they changed find out which one of these wires was causing the draw but come to find out I got rid of all of them and even by itself with the nitrous completely disconnected there was a draw right there there was a draw on that solenoid that solenoid got a dead short in it and it was drawing power from the battery and it was sending power to the coil with the car off and it boiled the coil boiled the oil inside the coil until it popped i've seen coils explode before but usually that's only if you leave the key on well the key wasn't even in the car right so i knew it wasn't that so you know <laughs> the funny thing is right these uh, solenoid things, that's usually the first thing you always change whenever something, you know, car won't start or something. That's kind of like the first culprit with the Fords that you just kind of go after. Never, you know, usually nine times out of ten, well, okay, maybe seven times out of ten, it never ends up being the problem. But you're left with all the, you're left with all of these, uh, all these ones that you got so I got a bunch of these spare ones just laying around so I just quickly popped a new one in there it's fine it's fine here check it again put the uh, put the tester right on there see yep no draw so we're good um, I'm a little spooked though so I, I've been keeping the negative wire off the car uh, overnights for a while until I trust it again. You know, I don't know how this thing all of a sudden kicked the bucket on me, right? I mean, sometimes coincidences, like this was just a coincidence that this, you know, kicked the bucket as I was doing the nitrous wiring, which then popped and cooked my coil. Sometimes coincidences can be very strange. I mean, you, you would think it had to have been because I did something with the nitrous. Like that, you know, you would think there would have to be a cause like that, right? Well, I mean, I don't know. It, really, if you look at it, there's no way it could have been. All I did was simply put the wires here, you know, just so that it's basically connected directly to the battery at that point these wires are getting fed you know they're positive wires right now as we can check here sweetie put your tester right there yep it's constantly getting power right now which is fine that's what we want we're we want the power to be at the solenoids right now and then we switch the uh, grounds to make them activate but simply putting the wires here would not do anything to the internals of it. That this is not causing extra strain on the internals of the solenoid at all. It's just it's it's just a post at this point. It's just another battery post. I mean, we didn't even try to start the car. The keys, the keys were not even in the car when we were doing all this wiring last night, were they? We, we didn't even start the car, did we? No. So we didn't activate this solenoid at all. It just... It, it, it just went, went on its own. Coincidentally, when we were doing the nitrous wiring. Unless you can see how putting wires here would stress the solenoid, which I, I, can't, I can't see how that it would do that. Weird. So, yeah, no. I, weird. Nothing else got fried, just, just the coil boiled over. I mean, point, or, yeah, the points, the cap, rotor, everything, everything else was perfectly fine, so. Yeah, <laughs> strange. Uh, well, okay, so that happened. It's done over with now, you know, we're going to disconnect this here until we gain a little more trust with her, but, you know, coincidences, right? Uh... But the nitrous, we are ready. We're done. The nitrous is completely ready to use.
Okay, I'll show you that in the car in a second. Uh, the only thing I need to know is what jets to put in it. And finding that information out, surprisingly, to me anyway, has been well, quite difficult. Uh, I can't get a straight answer edgewise on what jets do what horsepower. Obviously, the horsepower is just an estimate, right? I mean, I, I get that. You know, I'm not looking to get precisely that horsepower or anything. I just want an average ballpark, you know, where the air-fuel ratio is, you know, simpatico, right, with the nitrous. Yeah. A ballpark to just then go off of, right? When I hit the button, I want it to be close enough to where it's not going to detonate itself and be too lean. Oh yeah, but here, look at look at my front end a little bit more, right? Like, this looks way better than it did. What are you doing? She's banging her head against the wall, essentially, right now, wanting to go. Poor little girl. Uh, yes anyways i yeah i got all this out of the way and i uh flat blacked the back because it had all this nasty overspray right on it and just looked crummy looks way better now and uh, and now we're not even posers the hood pins are actually serving the purpose that they're designed for we're not you know we're not posers anymore let's go inside the cab and show you what's up with that all my nitrous fittings are here i got my adapter i got all the wires i still got to find a way to keep this gauge sitting flush it's just floating in there right now but small stuff right all the switches and buttons and stuff works they not right now because you know it's negatives unplugged but nitrous is done wire is just going to come back here to the back seat so i can just reach back there and uh, open up the tank um you know, I, the bottle's sitting this way instead of straight, you know, like this is yeah, a little concerning maybe. I might do something different. I mean, I might even get rid of the fire extinguisher that's been outdated since 2014. Maybe even put it right here. I don't know. I just feel like it might be a little tacky right here. You know, it might be a little too, like, you know, Fast and the Furious being right here. Which, but, you know, hey... We'll see. Not sure yet. Really, if it's in the back seat area, it'll get kind of squished, and I won't even need to like bolt it to the floor for now. It could just sit back there, and it won't go anywhere. Is kind of my plan for the initial testing. <sighs> yeah. So that that's all good. That that's all happening. It's all done. Right. Ouch. But testing and stuff's gonna have to wait because as you can tell by the little missums who's very impatient right now, we're on vacation until this next or well this Thursday will be. This week's Thursday, right? That's when I Friday I have to go back to work. Okay. But until then we're on vacation and well, we're going on an adventure. We're we're gonna go uh to Duluth. We're going to spend a few nights in Duluth. We're going to do this and that. whatever. That's what she's excited about. See, look at that. Attitude completely changed. Yep. So, uh, videos are a little scarce right now just because we, well, you know, we've got more important things going on. Uh, I will have one kind of oddball video coming out. Uh, really not car related at all, but it's just something that I'm piecing together. Just seeing if you guys you know, want to see more of it, I, I don't know, we'll, we'll see, uh, I might do some, I don't know, videos at the place that we're doing, I don't know, if you guys want to see vacation stuff, it's not car related, but, you know, it's us, and that's, you know, kind of the main part of the channel, I guess, is us, right, I feel like we're the main part of the channel, aren't we, <laughs> all right, so, we're gonna get going, because she is getting feisty, and we'll catch you next time. Hey, tell them you'll catch them next time. Catch them next time. We'll catch you next time. You better believe we're bringing protection on our road trip. All right, let's go, sweetie.